Alright, I'm going to be showing you how to install mods for Minecraft. It's very simple. Just go ahead and uh, open up your internet browser first to start off. And go ahead and type winrar.com. And it'll pop up with this. This is one of the things that you're going to need. You just download it here, install it normally. Then you're going to want to go to Google. Just the easiest way for me to do it like this. Go to Zombies. Zombies Mod. Just click this for Minecraft Forum. All you need to do is just go ahead and go to this and download it 1.5.2. Go ahead and make sure you got the right one. I have the latest one. This is how you can check real quick. The 1.5.2 for Minecraft. All right, you just need to download that. And that's all you should need from there. Go ahead and just make this easy for us. We'll just download that. Put that there. We'll be in a zip file, so you just have to do that. Alright, so we got that done. All we need to do now is go to your jar file or bin file. When people say that in mods, they usually mean just go here. So, percent app data percent. Click enter. Bring up this. You want to be doing Minecraft. This is your jar. This is your uh, bin file. And all you need to do to install zombies, you're going to want to do this. New folder, just type mods. Double click mods, go ahead and do new folder again, go ahead and put zombie, make sure you spell it right, do it again, go ahead and go to config, and the zombies, just do that, drag and drop, that's all you gotta do, that part is done, go to your bin, and when after you download WinRAR, it'll come up with this for the options, this is a, I just do this to make it easier on myself. Go to Winrar Archer. Go ahead and you have to delete this. If you do not delete this, none of the stuff will work. This is we're in the jar file of Minecraft. So if a installer says go into the jar file, this is what you're gonna be wanting to go to. Wanna go to classes this time. Select all that and just put it right in there. Go ahead and make sure it did it. Okay, let's see here. See here, we'll see what's going on. Let's go ahead and distract it to the desktop. That's probably what was going on there. So, just after you download this from the website, just extract it to your desktop. It'll come in a nice little folder like that. That's all we were missing, I guess. We'll go back to Minecraft. Classes, there we go. Hit OK, and you're pretty much done for that. Just back up this real quick. Go back into your mods, zombies, config, 
and you have a whole bunch of things right here. In order to enable these mods, all you have to do is delete the number key. So let's go ahead and go down to Fly Mod. Toggle Fly Mod. F. And just save. Go ahead and open up Minecraft. get an error like that just uh, go back to where you removed one of the number keys and just put it back in there just load it up a new world go ahead and press F7 And that should be it. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got here. So let's just go back to this real quick. Everything should be in the place. Okay, that was my phone going off. Data percent. Oops. I can't even spell. Try it again. Roaming, Minecraft. Zombies config. All right, let's just go ahead and put that back there. Alright, I guess I'm an idiot. Just don't do that. <laughs> that's uh, the old... When you had to install the mod before, that's how you get to it. I guess they, uh, they updated it, which is good. For the latest version, but they also added this GUI. It makes it really convenient. So, everything is all set after you do all that. Let's go ahead and flying. Oh, that's my inventory key is flying. So let's go ahead and put space bar and shift. There we go. This will work on most servers. A lot of servers will ban it to before being used. Uh, so let's see here. Go to the city build real quick, and I'll just show you how all the servers have. So you can't fly, but some servers where you can fly. Yeah, kick flying's not enabled. So a lot of servers have anti-cheat stuff, so you can't fly. So a lot of you can do it in single player a lot, and also servers that allow flying. But it has a lot of mods added to it, so you can just play around with this. And everything should be good. Toggle rain.
All you have to do really is just press F7 to get out of this. And J, thunder, rain, press J again, and it's clearing up. So this helps out a lot. Uh, if you want to add custom text instead of it saying flying, all you need to do is go back to the config file, go down to where it says fly mod. And it'll tell you tag when flying mode is active. Go ahead and save. Go to single player, hit F for flying, and it says I'm a real boy instead of flying. So you can you can play with it. Um, when play when the config files too much since they have this GUI. Uh, I did not know about it. About this GUI, it's new to me. On the older versions of Minecraft, you had to play with the actual settings. This is actually really keeping it for new players. Go ahead and do that. Until if Go ahead and put cheater mode on. It shows you all the where all the bad guys are, all the mobs. Oh, shows you where all the ores are. A lot of servers look down on this. This is uh, cheating. Provides an unfair advantage over a lot of people, so a lot of servers don't like it. It tells you exactly where the ores are. Let's see if I can show you. I don't have anything on this server. Single player create. Alright, well this is a uh, this is basically how you install most mods. Um, let's go ahead and click that off. Still can't see, okay. how you install most mods. Uh, what the hell? We'll just put the jukebox here. Alright. Oh, remember? Or mods. Get to see it. We're exactly all the ores. Black would be coal. So orange is probably iron, yep. And that's pretty much it. The reason why I did that was basically a lot of people were asking me if I should start doing mod videos and how to install them. This is how to install mods basically for dummies. And looks like we both learned something new for today. But I'll go ahead and Go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, this mod pack has a lot of good mods in it. It's really cool. Like I said, there's the flying mod, and there's the there's the cheating mod, which isn't so good on other servers. But there's a lot of stuff. There's lightning. You control lightning. 
Who I put thunder on? Man, put lightning too. So that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure I'll start doing more videos. Pretty sure I'll start getting better at doing these commentaries. This is actually uh, my first commentary on this test, this new software I downloaded. So hopefully everything works out. But I will be doing more videos. If you want to know more, let me know. Let me know if there's a certain mod you want me to do. And this is RD Mustang X1 out.